know what you're thinking, and no, no, this, this is a very different version of Drive. This is not the much more popular 1997 film starring Mark Dacascos. I hear good things on IMDb. Apparently it's a movie that every action movie addict should watch. Which must be why they only gave it a 5 out of 10. It's a masterpiece of average! This version of Drive comes to us from 1974 and is directed by noted gay porn director Jack DeVoe, director of the scandalous adult film Left Handed. For those of us whose idea of kink is switching hands, <laughs> that goes against the Bible. And all I keep thinking about with this poster is white dolomite. With a script co-written by the film's star Christopher Rage, his real name is Christopher Tokarev. Drive was one of the more ambitious gay porns of the time, boasting that it has a cast of 50 people. It was a much simpler time when pornos could brag about containing the exact number of people that John Holmes fucked in a day. Let's start up this monster. A little late to be just now writing the script, isn't it? D-E-A-R space W-O-R-L-D Sweet, now I know how to spell. This is a letter of exposition being written by the film's villain. Arachne. Arachne will tell you the truth because I am the only one who understands the truth. Goddamn, the Spider-Man musical took a lot of liberties. Arachne is hell-bent on killing men's sex drives by... Woo -hoo -hoo. We're already starting out with a castration? What the fuck, movie? I didn't even get a chance to know the penis first, like in Cannibal Ferox. Apparently, scientists have found a way to eliminate sex drives because I guess the 70s were just too fucking entertaining. But Arachne is keeping her eye on things. I have hidden cameras which give me access to the files the government keeps on men such as Clark. If by hidden camera she means footage of the movie, our hero of the movie is a secret agent named Clark. Sort of like Chuck, only Clark's a power tap. His file described him as intelligent and unquestioningly obedient. I thought he was quite beautiful. Okay, he's very handsome, yes, but let's stay on target here. We don't want to get sidetracked away from the plot. I mean, this car was the hit of the auto show. You should have seen the way people were looking at it. Of course, it would look better in a different color. What the hell? There's people going around eliminating sex drives. We can talk about your car and the handsomeness of Clark later. Or just listen to the radio. <laughs> The only radio stations are the ones playing the soundtrack to the 1974 Drive. Now I know why it's called Drive. At first I thought it was a reference to Sex Drive, but I think it's because driving makes up the first several minutes of the movie. Uh, I don't like it when I'm not sure if I have to black box something. Oh, we're at an art gallery, showing the collective works of Olive Oil's legs. I'd tell you what these paintings represent, but you just wouldn't get it. But I can tell you about this one, Letter Orgy. Lowercase d takes it in the O. Oh, well, here's our title, showing up several minutes late. Um, Drixie? Drove? Drivix? Hey, hey, don't throw the title at me! Clark picks up his lover so they can spend an evening together. I bought this cookbook because if I have to eat another minute steak, I'm gonna be sick. Well, I'm sorry that Zagat's didn't give a glowing review to my fridge. Best thing about the Swanson TV dinners? They could have kept them in the fridge from 1974 to 2014, and they'd still be just as good for you. I wonder if I can carry James Bond over there away from his Egyptian art for a little quickie. All work and no play makes me very horny. Ugh, did we really need a shoehorned in reference to The Shining six years before it was made? Although that would have made things at the Overlook go a little smoother. All Jack Torrance needed was just a left-handed old-fashioned. No wonder this movie is so goddamn confusing. It's on the same drugs as the director. Why are we in a nightclub all of a sudden? Maybe if I can spin around faster, I can drill a hole to the dance floor at the center of the earth. Suspenders on the dance floor? You know what that means. It means he likes to keep his pants up, obviously. <laughs> that, and he also likes to be pissed on. Say, this is the footage that Loggins and Messina didn't want you to see. This is the straightest fraternity party I've ever seen. 
Is this guy at the bar, or did they take him home? I think that counts as stealing the bar's furniture. And when I said I wanted to be a fly on the wall, I didn't mean for the movie to switch to the POV of a fly. A fly who appears to be crashing all of the sudden. Eh, nothing this club could ever do will surprise me. You know, we've been taking a look at a lot of what the fuck Hollywood movies recently, so it's nice to go back and look at some plain old ordinary what the fuck! Everyone remembers that whole fad in the 70s where gorillas would break into gay bars and steal their clothes, especially if said gorilla is a world dominating mad woman named Arachne. Good evening, my name is Arachne. Welcome to the club. Uh, aside from a lack of minions, that looks a lot like a 1970s Studio 54 version of someone that I reviewed a movie with once. Well, you know what that means. That means it's time to pull out the old cameo generator and see what we got. I have decided for this cameo that I am not wearing pants. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, the... Batteries seem to be a little low on this thing, so best plug it into the machine for a little while. After some hot, steamy sex, they got nothing else to do, so might as well watch some manics for a little while. That is, until Clark is called in to investigate the terror of Arachne. How about what I? Uh, here for Sherry? Well, thank you, sir. I think I'll have one. I always find the... Uh, what's that? And no, thank you, sir. No sherry. Oh, yes, of course. Fucking priorities, Frasier! We can talk about your sherry once we've saved the world here! Too bad I don't know what the fuck anyone is saying! Oh, yes. Let's nearly speaking piece of story together. Dr. Vincent Hardison, who's a research scientist at Mountain View Hospital here, and an assistant of his, Harry Mantle. Great. I'm missing plot details, but thank God I heard him talk about his sherry! This scientist may be kidnapped, but throw a cock in the shot and his face looks like Christmas morning. Don't mind the janitor. <laughs> We're just filming a movie in here. Ah, the 70s, where if you weren't on drugs, we'll still make you put shit up your nose. The scientists try to escape, but the camera is so shaky that a Face is a Death movie would try to pass this off as real. Uh-oh. Fuck. Uh, hey, Jack, uh, we may need another actor here. Clark can smoke that pipe all he wants, but we all know it was made for blowing bubbles out of it. And again, I'm having a hard time with the dialogue because of the damn music. He's a very difficult man. His associates even call him eccentric. They call him the son of a bitch. Precisely. <laughs> Anyhow, it will not be surprising if he refuses to return. Thanks for interrupting this scene with the gay porn version of popcorn by Hot Butter. To be fair, though, I think Hot Butter is one of the ingredients of the film. But Arachne has morals, damn it. You were to bring the scientist back to me alive. There was to be no bloodshed. Oh yeah, then how do you explain the opening castration? And just when I can understand the lines, the focus goes out. That is, when it's not randomly cutting to a crotch shot or other things in the room. I don't want to have to look at you. Get out! Well, we didn't know. I'm very impressed you got to meet one of the Crystal Light dancers, but what the hell does it have to do with the film? And every supervillain needs a sidekick. Androgyny, where are you? You want I kill these two motherfuckers? Androgyny is there because Ambidextry had the night off. Also, this dude is about as androgynous as John Wayne. Oh good, here's the part where they flip on a better movie, like Gay Racula. They're spying on Clark, and I believe this is hidden camera footage about as much as I believe A Haunted House 2 was found footage. And I gotta say, I wasn't quite expecting this to be where Chicago's Nuts on Clark got its name. Arachne, however, is not a fan of this footage. <laughs> can't say I pegged young Dame Edna to be a homophobe. That's slightly shocking. And not even the movie knows when these characters are talking. It cuts her off mid-sentence. That psychiatrist's dead. The government will be invested. 
Don't worry, it realizes its mistake and goes back to her, making this exterior shot totally fucking unnecessary. We also see Arachne's collection of severed penises, all of them erect, which says more about the victims than it does Arachne. Clark takes an opportunity to go undercover. Today it's the Bravo Network, but back in the 70s, the most homoerotic thing in the world was steam. Can't say I've ever seen steam fade out before. Still better than CGI steam. Convenient how the steam travels right along with the camera. The steam is the sex slave in this relationship. I was not always beautiful, was I? I was not always so certain about what needed to be done. I know I was not always alone. There was a time when I couldn't bear to be by myself. Oh, sorry. Uh, did I come at a bad time? Because God forbid this movie talk about something plot related. Man would have to search no more. Arachne would be the answer. So you're gonna turn into a spider now or what? Or just play around with your sidekick? I think they should do something. I watched him in the steam room. Someone has told him something about a scientist. You wanna say that again without giving an impression of really shitty feedback? The real twist in the movie is that Arachne is the headlining performer at the Ritz! So oh, move over, Googie Gomez! Fantastic. Earlier, I couldn't understand what she was saying, and now I can't understand what she's singing! Okay, since I can't hear it, just insert a reference to Rocky Horror Picture Show, uh, Ingrid Thulin from Salon Kitty, or Priscilla, Queen of the Desert. Whatever you want. Also, I'm questioning the legality of these hors d'oeuvres. Um, sir, that's tartar sauce. Not everything white has to be snorted up your nose. I'm really surprised that this is the only guy in the club using the back door. <laughs> it's nice that she's taking a singing break from her world domination. I will have the formula. I will succeed. The world will remember Arachne. And if they don't remember you, they'll at least overhear your secret plan because you're still under a spotlight. And now we have the most impressive scene in the movie that I can't show. Just picture a human centipede with fists. The double fisting on display here is one of the most impressive things I've witnessed since the penis cake from Caligula. I don't know how to describe it other than it looks a little like a boxer, only if you replace his gloves with dudes. And with this sound effect. <laughs> I don't know what that means, other than looking at an ass with an arm hanging out of it does look a little like the trunk of an elephant. At least now when Clark finishes, he'll be cleaned out for the next 50 years. By the way, I do hope you don't plan to try and sneak these trips to the tubs into your expense account. Yeah, you mind if we talk about the company budget later? These guys I'm with have a huge fistful of me. The fist fight game at the tubs, for Christ's sakes, next thing you'll be driving a goddamn Holly Davidson. Fucking Christ, stop judging me. I'm trying to save the world over here. He's found out the location of the scientists and, uh oh, a second door. I wasn't expecting the hiding place to be this tightly secured. Clark is on the case after dicking around in the fields for an hour. Nice job, Italian Batman. Whoa, whoa, easy, easy. Your penis can fit in many things in this film, but I'm not sure if the camera is one of them. I believe it goes without saying that once again, the movie gets weird. I completely understand what they're going for here. The balancing act that we're about to see in this sex scene is gonna be more impressive than the balancing we'd see at a circus. The movie may be called Drive, but the action on display here is stiffer than Ryan Gosling and Only God Forgives. Which was totally the point of that film. But regardless of that, just look how this cum shot ends. <laughs> Oh, 
Um, the flying Gaysons have landed? I don't know. I've given up trying to figure out what all this means. Also, what the fuck? Is he getting robbed now? Is this even part of the movie? Actually, it is, because Clark is hauled off to Arachne's sex dungeon, being presided over by Arachne herself and Beryshnikov for some reason. I'm afraid you're in the unfortunate position of having fallen into the hands of the enemy. Ugh, be consistent. Go back to the shitty audio. I've spent years searching for a way to deliver man from himself. But this operation is at best awkward. I detest inefficiency. There, thank you. Now I can go back to saying, what? By the way, this is what people think Mommy Dearest is when they haven't seen it. Arachne's evil plan is thwarted when the guys become erect, which, judging from her severed penis collection, didn't seem to stop her before. Once the guys are freed, they immediately move right into Orgy. Um, guys, uh, Arachne is still on the loose. Just saying. You're a horrible secret agent, Clark. I like this guy, though, who enters the room. Eh, boys will be boys! Well, when you don't have an ending, just show someone writing one. That's totally the same thing. Plus, I firmly believe that this script was only five pages. Wait a minute, you mean Arachne wasn't a blonde this entire time? And she's finishing off Clark's job for him. Arachne was credited as Mary Jim Stunning. The extra S is for seriously. Well, that movie sucked, and fucked, and fisted, and danced, and sang, and then sucked some more. But judging from the movie's poster, the film was very highly received upon the time of release, but it's a little hard to take the rest of the poster seriously when it's just a dude in a gorilla mask. Well, I've let the old cameo generator rest for a little while, so maybe it'll work correctly this time. Well, that was fucking worth it. Well, at least the audio in that clip was much better than the audio of the actual film. I need to hear by 1970s gay porn fucking and stereo surround sound, goddammit! Hey. Wait a minute. This is a PS3 controller. <laughs> Let the old cameo generator rest for... Burp. Pardon me.